The Prodigal Son Returns. In a bizarre turn of events, Casey Hudson has rejoined Bioware. Yep, we are talking about the same Casey Hudson who led highly renowned games like Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic and the original Mass Effect trilogy. It's the same Casey Hudson who was spearheading Anthem before he left the company three years ago on August 7th, 2014, during a tumultuous time in Mass Effect Andromeda's development history. According to Kotaku's investigative article on Mass Effect Andromeda, 2014 was the year when all of the behind the scenes politics and development troubles started. It's when things started to fall apart for Andromeda. While the circumstances behind Casey's departure aren't entirely entirely known, I think it's safe to say that part of it was him just jumping ship after seeing the incoming iceberg. Since his departure for the past three years, Casey has been working for Microsoft Studios as a creative director of HoloLens Experiences, but it looks like that employment wasn't quite as fulfilling as developing AAA titles at BioWare. Three years isn't a very long time to be working on an emerging new technology. So now he's decided to return home and he'll be replacing BioWare general manager and longtime BioWare employee Aaron Flynn, who is officially quitting the company. This comes in only four months after Mass Effect Andromeda's less than stellar launch, which makes one wonder if Andromeda's launch had any influence on BioWare's most recent staff shift. My guess is that it most definitely did. In Aaron's goodbye blog post, he states that he's been contemplating changes in his life for some time and when he heard Casey was returning, he realized the opportunity before them. And I'm sure that's all part of it, but you don't just up and leave for no reason in a corporate environment like EA and Bioware. Corporate entities like these are one giant, well-oiled machine, and there are higher-ups who carefully manage any changes in its cogs. So it is highly likely that on some level, Aaron's departure from the company shortly after Andromeda's failure was a corporate decision. The timing of it is just all too convenient. Casey Hudson's return though, I'm not sure who anticipated that, but I'm sure Bioware is thrilled to have him back. After all, he's one of the biggest names at the company, and he's a big part of why Bioware reached renowned status during their glory days, with acclaimed titles like KOTOR and the Mass Effect trilogy. And now he'll be able to lend a hand in Bioware's new IP, Anthem, a project that Casey originally led before his departure three years ago. All in all, I think this is good news. It's sad to see longtime veterans like Aaron Flynn go, but his job is in good hands with someone like Casey Hudson. A part of me is worried that such a significant shift in staff is happening so late into Anthem's development, since these were the same signs that indicated that something wasn't right at Bioware during Andromeda's development. But unlike back then, rather than hemorrhaging employees, Bioware is getting someone back, Casey Hudson no less, which might be a sign of better things to come. It's like if Konami suddenly announced that Kojima would be helming the Metal Gear series once more. That would be one hell of a ray of hope for the future of the beloved series. Too bad that fantasy is probably never becoming reality. But hey, we got Casey Hudson back and I hope this means good things for Anthem and good things for Bioware as a whole moving forward. That's it for this news update. Let us know in the comments below what you think Casey Hudson's return to Bioware means for the future of the company. Also, if you enjoy my content, consider supporting me on Patreon to help our community remain independent from corporate interference. And to be further updated on all things Bioware, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.